Hey guys, Homesteading on Dime here is going to present to you another cooking show. Now, that's the reason we're sitting here by the wood stove on a very warm spring day, sweating our keister off. But this is a bean and bacon soup recipe that I've been making for years and years and years. It's very nummy, very easy to fix. There are only three ingredients, and it takes uh, no skill at all to produce, which is one of the reasons I make it. So while I'm gathering up the ingredients, you watch this, and we'll be right back. This recipe is so easy. Uh, it's basically three main ingredients. You have your beans. In this case, we're going to use Great Northerns. Uh, navy beans are basically the same thing, just a little smaller. You use the bean of your choice. It really doesn't matter. Uh, this is just the way I make it. Of course, you need a potato. That's not only your thickener, but it's also your starch. Adds bulk, and they're cheap. Beans are cheap, and just a little bit of bacon. I think there's actually just four pieces of bacon in there. Uh, if that, I just cut them up into smaller chunks to distribute throughout the, uh, the, the bean and bacon soup. And I also, instead of salt, I use uh, soy sauce. Don't ask me why. I just started doing it that way, and I kind of like it. It adds a little bit of tang and zip to it, and pepper. That's, you use whatever seasonings you want. That's, it's your soup, but that's what I use. Now, we're going to put the beans in water first, get them going. Then we'll add the potato, and then we're going to add the bacon. Okay, we're going to throw our water in here. We're going to put about, oh, well, that's about enough, a little bit more, about two-thirds full. Just make sure we got plenty in there, Maybe a little more than two-thirds, doesn't have to be exact. Then we're just going to dump our beans in. We're going to throw these in the wood stove and uh, call her good. Um, we're going to cook these for about... Uh, an hour. Uh, it, it varies quite a bit depending on how cold it is outside because the colder it is outside the hotter a sto hotter your stove is. You know, I really gotta fix this thing. What the heck is the matter with me? That's just... that's unacceptable. I'm sorry. Alright, let's put this Dutch oven into the wood stove and let it do its thing. Okie dokie. Artichoke. Let's take a look at these beans here. Wow, they look done to me. Look at that. Look at that. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to add some water, throw the taters in, and put them back in the oven. We're making progress. All right. Let's throw this back in there. We're going to throw another chunk of wood in there. Hardest part about doing this this time of year is it is uh, currently, I believe this is the 27th of April and it's uh, about 52 degrees outside in the shade and the cabin gets really warm so our door is propped open a bit. Uh, so cooking in the wood stove this time of year can be a little uncomfortable at times but it's worth it in the long run. We'll let that uh, sit in there for a bit, give her another couple stirs, and check it out. Alrighty. Let's take a peek. Give it a stir. Hold on, i got to move a few things around. And there we go. Man, it's starting to look good. I'm going to slice up a tater. Oh yeah, taters are good and done. Good and give them a good vigorous stirring. I'm going to throw in a little more pepper. 
Don't worry, I like pepper. I don't know if that's enough. There's only one way to tell, right? Now just to taste it, I'm going to throw in another couple shots of soy sauce. Darken her up a bit, give her a little color. Now, this is what makes it bean and bacon soup. You got to put the bacon in there. You don't have to pre-cook it at all. You know, the wood stove is more than hot enough to, to cook bacon. And I like big chunks. Uh, I think the recipe I actually got to, to make this said dice up. And whenever I think of food being diced, I think of being diced up so small where it's almost microscopic. And I like chunks of bacon. I like honking chunks. I may even cut these up a little bit too short, but it's a done deal now. Uh, this is thin sliced bacon. I do prefer thick sliced bacon, but the store had none. So we're just going to throw that in there. Throw her back inside the wood stove and let her cook. And uh, call her good. It'll be done by dinner time. Yay! Let's take a look at this. Look at that. Look at how that turned out. You see how that thickened up nice? Now I took this out of the wood stove a couple times and gave it a stir or two. Look how nicely it thickened up. Very stew-like. Uh, just very nutritious and very delicious. So easy to make. Three ingredients plus whatever seasoning you want and water. And that's all it is. Very simple. Um, the ingredients were one half cup of uh, uh, Great Northern Beans. Uh, I used about two-thirds of that potato. I didn't use the whole thing. And uh, three or four uh, strips of bacon that I cut up in slightly smaller chunks. And that is it, guys and gals. Uh, inexpensive to make, too. Potatoes are, are pretty cheap, and beans go a long way. That's just enough for one person for dinner, so that'll give you an idea of, uh, I guess, the cost ratio. It's very uh, cost-efficient to make. Uh, you can substitute just regular chunks of ham if you don't have actual bacon. Whatever you want, it's your soup. So there you have it, gang. A very simple, easy-to-make recipe. Three ingredients, potatoes, beans, bacon, well, and of course water. Uh, and simple seasonings. You can use whatever you want to. It's your soup. I just use coarse ground black pepper and soy sauce, and I call it good. And it is good. So give it a try. I used, for this particular batch, I used a half a cup of beans, uh, about two-thirds of that fist-sized potato, diced up about the size of a dice, uh, and three or four strips of bacon went into this uh, this uh, batch I made. So it's really cost-effective uh, to make, so it's not an expensive meal either. Uh, what I do is, uh, doing it inside the wood stove, I cook my beans first. I always cook them first to make sure they're at least, you know, half to two-thirds of the way cooked. Then I throw my potatoes in, cook them some more, taking them out every ten minutes or so to stir them. You, you want the the potatoes to kind of dissolve a little bit because that really thickens uh, the soup up. And then the last thing I add, uh, once once everything is pretty well cooked, is the bacon, and I finish it off. The only thing I do other than that, other than stirring it a little bit, is to uh, replenish the water because your water does cook out, and you don't want to uh, spend all this time making this just to burn everything because burned beans uh, ruin everything. You just can't get that taste out of them, no matter how much of them you scoop out. It ruins everything, so be careful with that. But anyway, give this recipe a try. It's so super easy to do. Uh, just leave a comment and let me know how your batch tastes and what changes you would make to it, too, because it's your soup. You can do whatever you want with it. But thanks for watching. Please like. Please subscribe. Hit the notification bell down there so it'll warn you when I get another video online, and we will see you on the next one.